What's up, Cancers? <laughs> Lori Gemini Tarot. I'm gonna go ahead and give you your general collective reading. This is gonna be for uh, January 2019. <laughs> Holy shit balls, right? Um, just so you know that uh, I was barely around for December it was because my energy was really low. I don't like to give out readings when I'm not feeling 100%. Um, it feels like the readings come out like vinegar. So I want to make sure that the readings are the best quality and you get the best motherfucking personality that you get out of me. Right? Right. So, um, that's right, Cancer. So here we go. Um, so you know that this is a general collective reading. This is not going to resonate with all Cancers. Take what applies, leave out the rest. Readings go vice versa. If this reading did not resonate with you, that's mean this reading was not meant for you. It was meant for another Cancer. So you can go ahead and be a martyr elsewhere and fucking cry in your pillow for 12 hours. Okay? Okay. Okay, play that victim card. Play that victim card. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding, Cancers. You know I love you guys. Okay. And, um... Like and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Instagram, Lori Gemini Tarot. I post daily tarot, oracle, affirmation readings. I do a lot of live streams and I do personal readings. You need to contact me directly through Instagram. My pricings um, are available on my profile. So, yes, uh, there we go. So, holy shit balls. Okay. Come on, Cancer. Come on down. You are the next contestant on The Price is Right. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So there is a new direction, a new job, um, a new business opportunity that comes your way. It could be just a small direction. You are moving towards victory, Cancer. That is your card right there. So some of you are going to be jumping forward into a new job, a new career opportunity. Some of you are going to be starting your own business something that you've been waiting very hard and patiently for and it's kind of like it's a now or never type of feel answer january 2019 cancer One more for cancer. Okay. <clears throat> Cutting the deck. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. There is no movement on this direction. A creative project, a venture. It could be a business career. It could be a relationship. It could be... A fling has died and fizzled out. Holy shit, okay. Open that and that, very interesting. The bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords here. So this is about a challenge. Could be conflict between work, somebody that's older, somebody that's younger, some, somebody has some sort of conflict about somebody that has more authority than the other person. Could be that somebody is an ageist. Could be that you're a parent having trouble directing your child, you know, where your kid's like, don't tell me what to do, mom. I know what's best, you know, that kind of shit. But there's no action, no direction towards this. For some of you, this is not moving action towards a relationship. This could be a fling that fizzled out. We have the nine of wands here. So you lost this battle, this challenge. You've been trying to keep this 
going with communication, the person just continues to withdraw. We have the lady and the Lord here. This could be a Gemini. You're dealing with fucking Gemini, right? Some of you are realizing that this relationship, this marriage, whatever, this unity is ending. This person is not your soulmate. The romance is dead. It fizzled out. You put way too much work into this and it's a losing battle. We have the seven of pentacles here. This is mamo card, okay? But here you are. You've been very patiently waiting, biding your time. And you've been beat up and worn out, hoping that this person will come along. We have the nine of swords here. So you've been depressed, anxiety, staying up all night, wondering. I'm like... I'm like, it's like, is that kid in a hall sketch? You know, it's like, I'm thinking about Tony, where he is. I wonder what he's doing. Is he thinking about me? Is he thinking about me with her? You know, um, that kind of sketch. It's that. You've been wondering if this person's been thinking about you. You've been thinking about them. We have the Earth Mother here. Somebody that's just beautiful and abundant, self-love. You're hoping that, you know... You've been worrying, wondering if this person looks at you as a goddess, whether you're going to be attaining this goddess. Some of you have been working hard trying to manifest this person, wondering if this person is ever going to come in your life. You feel like it's always a challenge. You're always dealing with people that just are not for you, that they're the complete opposite of you. Fascinating. So I am going to be using the Twin Peaks tarot deck. It's from uh, May of Fire Prints. They have an Etsy account. This is the Twin Peaks tarot deck. It is a limited edition tarot deck. Um, so this is a second reading for my cancer. So if the first reading did not resonate, hopefully the second reading will. And, uh, hold on. sorry, I'm a little bit chilly and I'm sure it will change in about five minutes. I'll feel like it's too warm, but anyway, okay. So, Cancers, this is, please go ahead and give me a general collective reading for my Cancers for the ones that did not resonate with the first reading. So please give me a general collective reading. Okay, we have the full card that popped out, so a brand new beginning, a fresh start. Leaping into the new year, it's like, new year, new me. Who the fuck do you think you are with the queen of wands here with that action, Sagittarius Leo? You're taking charge of your life. You're running your business. You are controlling your professional, your personal life, your social life, your romantic life. It's just everyone wants to be you. People want to fuck you. They're mirroring you. You're obtaining your Queen of Wands with the Three of Swords. Could be dealing with some sort of three-party situation, some sort of heartache. So come on, Cancers. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Wands here. It's reverse. This is like a losing battle. Some of you have to have a really bad smoking problem. Some of you guys are trying to quit smoking, trying to cut back on your vape pen, whatever it is. You have some sort of like nasty habit that you're trying to get rid of. It's just like you come across as a real nasty, salty ass bitch. It's just because it's like you've just been beaten down so many times. And you just always feel like you're just being curb stomped, if that makes any sense. Oh, 
there because that was part of that card. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius vibe here. Some of you have just been, you're just burned out. You've been trying to obtain your King of Wands. You are trying to be top dog, top bitch. And it just feels like you're always being stopped. People are always using you, taking advantage of you. It's like, it feels like you're this individual, but there's a real strong price to pay. It's like you've been eating a lot of shit sandwiches in order for you to get to where you're at. So we have the two of wands here. There's no balance. You're kind of like are in a closet and a prison within yourself. You don't feel comfortable with your true identity. We have the 10 of swords here. So this is like a death, this is an ending. You've gone through the whole grieving process. You've let go. Of, some of you had to deal with a death. Some of you had to deal with the death of a relationship. We have the Magician card. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Taurus. But this is you taking your form. You've been using pain and you've been expressing it as um, artistic. You've been manifesting. You've been like either writing, drawing, painting. Some of you may be indulging in like magic, like runes, tarot, psychic abilities. It's like somebody's like an illusionist. Somebody web stories, weave stories together. You've been using your creative outlets and people have been like uh, looking at you as a public figure, uh, as a public uh, figure. It's like this unity that you've attained. You're at peace within yourself. You're a very observant person. You can read every detail in a room, every person, how many, uh, how many items that they were carrying, what flavors they were, whatever it is. With the four of coins reverse, you're no longer being like a recluse. You're no longer feeling insecure. You're actually getting out of the house. You're letting your guard down. With the king of cups reverse, it's like you're detaching yourself. You're detaching your emotions. You're letting go of this water sign, this Pisces, this Scorpio. There's a strong Pisces here because we do have the hangman card here. So some of you may be detaching yourself from a Pisces. Some of you have just been emotionally detaching yourself. And because of it, you've just been kind of... You've just been hanging out and observing, man. You just don't really know what decision to make. I mean, you can totally make the decision anytime. You're just choosing to opt out. You're trying to be very passive aggressive about it. We have the five of coins reverse. We're seeing a strong um, earth sign. I'm seeing Capricorn Taurus Virgo. You guys are no longer feeling insecure. You guys are finally getting your money, your finances back in order. You're going out and part. You're going out and having fun, socializing. You're opening up. You're deciding to let people in. And with the six of wands here, we have victory or success. You're a motherfucking movie star. You're a motherfucking celebrity. Look at you. People want to be you. People think that you're hot as fuck. You're very sexy, suave. Very obtainable, very fuckable. Let me go ahead and give you your oracle reading. 
So this is going to be for cancer for January 2019. Okay, message one, simplify your life. Eliminate clutter from your home and work life to balance the flows of activity. Your life is gonna feel so much better, less stress, less anxiety. Once you remove things that no longer serve you, everything is just, really when it comes down to things, it's just we're surrounded by stuff and things. Americans especially are very attached to objects and items. And it's more than that, you know? Because if you have absolutely nothing, you know, like if you're like tomorrow, like if like a flood or an earthquake or like a fire comes out and like destroys everything that you have overnight, you know, in a grand scheme of things, you know, you'd probably be more content with the clothes on your back and your loved ones and your animals and everything safe, right? Than a whole bunch of shit that you got at Pottery Barn or whatever. Time to move on. It's time to let go of the old and worn out so the new can come in. It's January 2019. New you, new me, who this, right? And then we got you're being help. Heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see the results. So good things are coming your way, Mel House. You just don't realize it. Make a decision. Now feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. All right, good things are coming your way. Just think this shit through and finally ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. So jump to that shit and manifest like a motherfucker. Now, final reading for you guys. I've got your Rebel Deck reading for Cancer for January 2019. So reading for my Cancer, January 2019 with the Rebel Deck. message one you are being shady watch out shit could get ugly you're giving away your power you are badass act like it sorry i saw tyler's terror was coming on live um don't believe every shitty thought you have thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards and finally, winning, you got a good thing going. Don't ruin that shit. Okay. I love you, Cancers. You guys are awesome. And um, thank you for joining me. Like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, follow me on Instagram. And uh, by the way, titties, bitch.